Oh yay! Trudy Christine Mason here. I have Sarah in the car, though I wanted to do a personal update. Because like, I'm just like geeking out by like my existence. I'll admit I've had a really, really rough weekend, okay? Like, I'm being pushed into doing more of my healing work and less of like my psychic reading parts. And it's hard to do some of the healing when you haven't done the work on yourself and you're being presented with your identical reflection. And exercising compassion, restraint, silence, pratyahara. I'm still on my journey to myself, basically, you know, where I feel like I can rest and be with myself and be completely content. So, as many of you know, some call me goddess of water. Some call me goddess for short, some call me master, some call me teacher, some call me healer, some call me Trina. However, I'm meeting up with someone who particularly enjoys calling me goddess, and I do enjoy being talked to this way where they always say, yes, goddess, and they don't fight back, and they actually listen. They understand that I have their best interests in mind. I will admit, this person is defined as someone as my submissive. He's been a submissive for about... I want to say a year or two, maybe more. I'd have to, I'd love to interview him and see what he says. You know, I'm kind of losing track. Here? No. Maybe. Yeah, here. Yeah. And, um, he comes and he goes, you know? And as I step more into my dominance and, like, understanding what people are using me for my coaching, right? It's really fun to bring my BDSM kink self into the healing work as well, you know, acknowledging the shadows, the sexual perversions, and all the parts of the self that you are taught to shove down. Um, this person is a submissive to feet, and yeah, my feet are extremely dirty and itchy and like sweaty and stinky, and for somebody like him, that sounds like magic medicine. <laughs> And for me, I'm just like, okay, Subby, I like the idea of giving you permission to wash my feet in a bowl, in a public place where everybody can watch how much of a submissive for feet that you are. <laughs> you don't care where we are. And <laughs> he enjoys the idea of spoiling goddess. Not only does he want to spoil goddess with the foot rub and the intention and healing of the feet, though he also wishes to give up everything that he has, his financial gain, in order to serve because he feels like he is worth nothing unless he gives. You understand? I've been working with this submissive doing all kinds of shadow work on his personal self and man, he is so intuitive and like... Frankly, one would consider him an attractive male. Other people could call him unattractive for the levels of, like, his personality and things like that. Some people might run away from the reflections of themselves that are identical to this person. And, um, man, there's no irony that the person is reaching out to me after going through basically um, what I would define as an extreme breakup. And... I believe a lot of it has to do with my submissive not fully being honest about who he is, how he's a submissive, and how he's subby for feet. And it's so much deeper than that, that he seeks dominance. And so I'm imagining providing a service thanks to one of my great teachers, who's a lovely lady, who I'm not sure how to name at this time, though she knows who she is, where I have learned that some of my submissives need my permission to know who is a healthy partner for them to date. And so this subby has the idea of basically, yes, playing with chastity and controlling their urges and saving themselves for something that's really meaningful and not numbing themselves and escaping themselves from themselves. And frankly, this person doesn't always know that they are coming to me for this spiritual reason and more so thinks of me as the goddess and the other level 
of expression that I have played with and expressed and so few truly like understand me. I mean, I think that there's millions who understand how much of a delicacy it is to have your feet kissed. <laughs> and then the vibrations that one feels that one is not worthy. There's all these submissive and dominant states of awareness. Oh, look at that. Yes, yeah. well, that's why we're. he needs this. He needs this medicine. He's riding. He's not even in a car. You know that? Yeah, so there's symbolism in this. And I look forward to being of service, to being a minister. And yes, I'm meeting the client in a public place. My intuition has been going off like crazy all day and night. And now that I come back on the ley lines of my home, it all makes so much sense. Wow, St. Augustine really needs our healing. And this city is mourning. I think Sandy knows that Heather's not gonna listen. are telling her things happily. Excuse me for dropping names. Um, I'm just channeling to you, Sarah, out loud, nonchalantly. Um, man, I just feel the energy and it makes me want to cry. Because I know how we have the power to change the future and the way that times are going and that we just are under super abrasiveness. All I can see is like this image of a guy who's mining diamonds and he's like right there, but he quits and turns around. I don't know if you've ever seen that image. No, it's like an image talking about like that you're right there, don't give up. You never yeah. know how close you really are. No, I understand. And I know that um, our teacher is meant to travel and to access higher things, especially giving yourself permission to be a kid and dance and perform to higher extensive levels um, if she chooses or wishes um, to perform those generational acts I'm hearing. Um, man, it's not easy to talk to people directly it's way easier to talk to this like don't just see this video I'm talking about you here <laughs> um, I mean I can channel this to their higher selves in private and it's kind of like my preparation before seeing eye to eye just sometimes when you're seeing eye to eye with those splinters that are in their eyes and the injured animal before you it's very very difficult and especially when you have your own injured animal self that presents itself in front of that reflection that shows itself to you that is like a deep dark secret I think I kind of want to share it with you in the world yeah. so I used to think that I wanted to be a big somebody that I wanted to make history books yes. and change the world and be like his story that my story was going to be so significant like how I helped people and that like I didn't suffer in vain okay. and then I recently changed my story to God or like maybe it's been my subconscious story all along that what I think I really want is really to just like relax and not be doing this work so hard all the time thing and have a family and put my work into my family. Okay, so you wanna start a That's really funny. My grandma is, is quantum jumping through you talking to me. Because I told my grandma that uh, if she wanted to, I'd let her come back as my kid. I said it out loud to her so her higher self and her conscious self could hear it. And now I'm being challenged by the spirit because she loves babies so much. And it would just tear her up if I didn't have children. I'll admit though, part of me feels like I'm not supposed to carry on the Illuminati bloodline. <laughs> the royal blood but like I'm such a hybrid you know it's such a beautiful thing that I was made so I would like to think that like God made someone very special for me and that I'm gonna make the most beautiful thing of them and um, I can't deny though um, I have to tell you Sarah I also translated something to Joy and she validated it for me I really wanted to record her today when you were working on me and I would love to have you narrate what happened, but first let me finish what I was getting at. So me and Joy were texting, I think like last night or a couple nights ago, 
and I'm uh, I'm in the bath. I, of course, I'm always in the bath when I'm channeling information. Uh, gosh, water. <laughs> it's like my element. And um, man, I want. I'm sorry. I'm questioning myself if I'm blocking out another time I was texting Joy. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I was in the bathroom. I don't. I don't. I'm blocking out my trauma, my TBI. Okay, traumatic brain injury. Um, I was telling her how I think that autism is extreme levels of post-traumatic stress disorder epigenetic memory. That the family lineages of their mind and their feelings are all messed up and everyone's saying one thing, doing another. Like for example, um, I did a reading, I did an aura photo reading for a lady today. And she had a red mark on her mouth. And um, she was nervously smiling in front of me the whole time. And in the Native American tradition, um, what I've learned is about the teeth a lot and how it shows everything about your nerves. And um, I felt like this lady was hiding so much behind her smile and wasn't letting things be said or like she was grounding everything that she was receiving from spirit and not speaking it. I just translated to you the most perfect way and I couldn't translate it to her because um, I have identical trauma of her. Well, that's why you that's why I get the people I do because they want me to work on what's in front of me. And I have yes. to be careful what I'm saying because I might be listening. Like I'm hearing the same messages for myself. And also when we work together, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the translator. You're the voice. You mean the word is that you're the transmuter, Sarah. Transmuter. You know what I mean? Like you're yeah. my filter. You clean up all the energy for me and then you spit it back out clean. I do the same thing, but when I'm with you, I pass everything to you because you're like the stronger one and you're more grounded and you go straight down. Because you know that Mother Earth cleans it up. Your issue though is the same thing that I have. Sometimes we identify so much with the shadows that we're processing, so we cling on to it. I watched Joy's partner go through that today too. He was like all wired up and he didn't have any time to like disconnect and give everything to Earth. I told him he had to give it to her, but what had happened was he kept holding on to it because he's trying to understand it because it relates to his so much. So he thinks that if he can figure it out, but we get like that too. We see it, we see it and like we're trying to digest it, but it's not ours. So that's why you have to give it up. Give it up to God. I'm so excited to be like going here. I do not think I'm going to give this so-called submissive the honor of scrubbing and playing with my feet, to be honest. To be honest, he has not earned it. He has not earned it. I know I do, and just I just know he's going to be upset. It's just that he never listens, and he always comes and goes, and just like, like I'm sorry, this goddess just doesn't do that. I like long-term submissives. I don't like you show up and you disguise many names, and that you're hiding from who you are. I'm more than happy to do this shadow work with you, and like I'm a healthy dominant, you know, like I'm not gonna make you hurt yourself. He likes to play games. That's what he's and the thing, he likes to hurt himself and he's afraid that he's going to cross his own boundary. Just I'm, I tend to be pretty good at that though when it comes to like playing in that way. Yeah, well he likes Especially, to yeah, but he let, he know, like there's great area because we can hurt each other because mm -hmm. like we're going so deep into the work. Though he's very intuitive and sometimes it's just really hard to like honestly just bluntly put him into his place because I'm trying to be gentle and be a professional dominant. It just, he just really pushes my boundaries. And at the same time, I feel like he's exactly what I need and which is why his energy is drawn to me to be my submissive and to work with me on how to be trained and how to be a sub basically. He literally needs training on how to be a sub because he won't even sub to himself. Like he has all these feelings and all these harsh thoughts and he just won't chill. He doesn't know how to be good. He's just so addicted to the other side. Oh, can we please go to Old City Sub Sub Time soon, please? That should be tomorrow. I should be swimming tomorrow. And being kidnapped at 6 o'clock in the morning and going for a nice long dive and a long ride on a bicycle Listen, and everything else. What's up? And this is, this paddle boarding. Is, this is a perfect time for you to know how to set your boundaries. Right. I'm being tested right now. This is an exercise. Let's go. This person thinks that it's worth a foot rub for $40. And I'm just thinking, how about add like two zeros to that? And then on top of this, <laughs> remember this. When you set your boundaries. Yes. You set them in a very clear way. 
I know, though, let me tell you something. I struggle to talk to my partner about this stuff because this stuff happens all the time. And like, this is like my specialty is the shadow work. Okay, let me finish and talking. And then there's all this gray area. Let me finish talking. All right. Let me also just say like, have you not met, like, I mean, I don't think you have. Um, I haven't, so. You're so intuitive, yeah. So. Just her and her partner, they like, they do that stuff. So like I could have my alpha, right? And I there's definitely like a lot of subbies who would enjoy knowing that they're serving my alpha. Listen, when you make clear boundaries, do not be attacking. Attack. I attack my own boundaries because sometimes like when I love you and I love you, I'd be like, all right, fine, I won't get foot rubbed because you're jealous, or because you will be worried. No, I'm upset. Well, let me speak before. Fine. So, when you said boundaries... Part of me is jelly, though. Like, I want only one person to rub my feet. Sometimes. I'm very controlling who I allow to serve. Do you understand? That's why I do think I added the $4,000 price tag. Can you understand that side of it? Do you want to learn that side of being dominant? Or you just want to put me in my place and try to be the dominant? No, I'm not trying to put Alright, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell your opinion. It's so important. Teach. What I was going to teach you, when you set these boundaries, you just set them in a way that... It's it's a it's a daily routine, but no progressive. Just like this is what's up, and that's it. But you you have, you bring this energy of the goddess. Like I'm not gonna I don't have to be so aggressive about right it. or so subby to you in your like cheap offering. Yeah, thinking that my feet are worth like such cheapness. <laughs> but you you do it in like a a very yes. Look at them. Yeah. Yes, yes. I want to learn his name. Who's that? I feel like we're supposed to do a reading for those people. Jesus Christ. Um. All right, I'm gonna cut this. Bye. Bye.